exactly that. Playing his oh, game great. Haven. Great start here uh, for that type of playstyle well. because Pavelski is already letting you know we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna find ourselves off stage, off the Pumachete actually going off with a great start, getting a lot of neutral lights with the orb, and now yeah. has position here with the scythe. And so this is like I'm like, all right, who's gonna win out here in the battle of the wills? Because right now we're on Brawl Haven. I want to give it in favor. Pavelski trying to take stocks out at yellow with ground pounds off the right side of the stage, but with Machete opening up with the neutral win, we saw him put Pavelski off the side of the stage, deny weapons, and just constantly chip away at Pavelski's health. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those two things I was saying, Ajax, is like, okay, depending on who gets that early momentum, uh, we're going to be seeing one of those playstyles come through. And Machete so far is the one that's winning out. Exactly. Machete having great stage control, constantly keeping Pavelski on his toes. Off stage, but Pavelski, oh, but Pavelski oh, turned around. Just missed. It looked like Pavelski had the read on the jump, but didn't believe hard enough in it in that moment. And now we got to see Pavelski get through with the dodge. He's going to keep chasing him down. Oh, that, that, that's that, the best option. Yeah. Get back on stage. Don't yeah. keep staying well, down there. And, and that's, <laughs> that, those are the two types of gameplay, right? Pavelski and that moment, switch the game to his favor. It's like all of that, all that work that Machete put in there to get Pavelski all the way to the red yep. could go away in a heartbeat if Pavelski's able to get you off stage once. Yeah, don't lose your stock at orange here. It's not oh, worth it. but like Pavelski still has had control over the match so far. Dodges mm. the side light, goes for a gravity command, like cancel, pivot, down light, but that side light cider will take Pavelski down. But the amount of damage Pavelski had there before he went down, Machete was at white, and yeah. now it's red to red. Exactly, and I'm glad you pointed it out because that stock was so dominant in the favor of Machete at the start, and Pavelski, in the midst of that, was able to get back to red. So even though he lost it first to the side light side air, he has it back now to where he's able to scoop him up right there and get back in only into yellow on a second stock. Ooh, Pavelski, a little frustrated with both the side lights that he went for there. Use the active input on side light on scythe. You get the strong hit on the kick, but if you don't, you get a light hit that sends him upwards. We saw Pavelski trying to go for neutral six and side air so right oh. after that, but he has to go for the down take. And now Bacchetti and Pavelski, well, we're playing Pavelski's game right now. Mm -hmm. They were fighting in the air, scythe v scythe, down air, oh nair comes God. through. Bacchetti, does he grab him back? I like yeah. the fact that Pavelski, he went for recovery last time on that play, so he backed off, waited for Bacchetti <gasps> first. He scooped him up, but it's not going to be enough. If Pavelski goes for weapon toss oh. down, just misses on the GCD line. That could have set it up and gotten the stock. Neutral sig misses. Side light, side air coming through with Bacchetti. Now Pavelski went for the weapon throw, pick up down line, and that could cost him as Machete is now coming on the side of the stage. Goes for the edge guard with the side air, jumps over the weapon throw, down air on the stage, could do it, but no. Machete, I love that consistency from Machete. The edge guard, too risky. You know what's got a better chance of working out? Making sure Pavelski never picks up a weapon yep. again. You know what I'm loving so far? Machete, every time a big play does happen to happen from Pavelski, he answers right back with an incredible play himself. Yes. These two are throwing hands. They are not playing passive, and P Machete is answering back in a great way that keeps Pavelski not comfortable with starting to get some momentum. Oh, man, I love watching these two play. Uh, Machete trying to uh, get a super strong lead here, in which I would even say is... <laughs> Is not the game until that that uh, that stock is gone. You can lose it, your stock yeah. at, at it, you it, can lose your stock at white when it comes it to Pavelski. It so. sounds <laughs> obvious, but like we have seen twice now on both stocks where Machete was up white damage to red damage, um, and he nearly went down first. Uh, he's just gotten the upper hand here on both these edge guards. This is a great opportunity for Machete. Pavelski's mm -hmm. spending a majority of the time off stage just because of how great Machete's controlled center. Exactly, Machete knowing is he can't, he, not really a moment to commit, but the sideline's going to get punished. Trying to catch him after the dodge a little bit far away though, gets hit by the cider and now. Machete Machete has stage control once again. He's been dominant on the stage control, but he misses out on the downer. Neutralite sends it back off. Pavelski's taking a lot of damage. He only has so many more mistakes left. Yeah, and that's... Uh Turns out he had zero. He had zero it was, it was, in fact, there was, <laughs> was only was, one was, final mistake. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Silent Cider takes him off the right, and um, Machete's playstyle really winning out there. We saw it from the beginning at game one, mm -hmm. and then we saw Pavelski kind of fight back. But overall, every time Machete had him off the side of the stage, that, um, that patience and I, I want to say like, self-control to not overextend and go for something insane and give Pavelski the reverse nair that he's always mm -hmm. looking for. Uh, going back to the stage, throwing your weapon off, forcing them to use their dodge, and then denying them of any weapon refreshes on the stage. And if just looking just looking back at the damage there, too, even though it is 414 to 634, that yeah. gap didn't really happen to the last stock because mm -hmm. they were really close in damage leading up to that point. But Bacchetti was able to get back control of the pace of the game at the end. And that's going to be something Pavelski's going to have to answer back not only with the dominance but whenever he does have great control he gets his, he gets incredible reward on hit but he hasn't been able to get as many neutral wins so far yep. against machete yeah yeah if you're if you are getting a like 80 damage per engagement but you're getting one engagement per stock uh -huh. <laughs> that's not that is not uh not usually a recipe for winning 
Pavelski goes to the weapon throw forward here. Will he pick up a new weapon? He does. Silent recovery hits. Good take Machete at the top. So far, Pavelski has really upped his game on those neutral wins that we were talking about, right? He's been getting a lot more and that he's still getting that, mm -hmm. that 80 plus damage per engagement, essentially, to where he's getting Machete so deep into the red. Now he just has to close off the stock, but Machete with the orb chases him off stage. Yeah, Pavelski was able to get a lot of hits early on with Sidelight, but he hasn't been able to find them so far here when it's come to trying to find the KO. And he goes for the recovery, but Machete smartly getting away that time though catches him with D light gonna get the recovery close it off the top that could have been real bad if he lost that first stock after having a really good lead now he has to play some defense yeah this is the scary part for Machete's play style when that behind against Pavelski is that Pavelski's play style in my opinion has explosive comeback potential mm -hmm. whereas Machete's is much more of that slow burn always racking up the damage until you're at red and hit him with the knockout move and then you're done uh, and we're seeing right there Machete finishes off what he started from the last stock but still behind which is so unique about what we're watching right now is you are absolutely right on the way Machete likes to play it out yeah. except this I think almost against Pavelski as a check they've both been holding forward quite a bit yeah, like, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is a much more but, aggressive well, like Machete that I'm used to seeing I, but it, I think it's as an answer to how ridiculous Pavelski can it's be it's how oh. these two interact with each other they're constantly fighting to not fall for the other's play style uh -huh. <laughs> because I think they really like how the other plays but they're like I gotta do it my way no I gotta do it your way it's like oh it's like, it's it's uh it's awesome and right now control is is like one thing, but how do you condition someone who has no fear? Yeah. And I think that's what we're seeing out of these two players right now. That is a really nice Woo! way to put it. And so far, Pavelski getting the upper hand in game two. We saw in game one, Machete, awesome job with the stage control. This time around, Pavelski getting in more of those wins on the gauntlets, taking the stocks off, and now a full stock ahead. And he's doing a better job against Machete's tendencies to dodge right away out of the side lights and neutral lights that Pavelski's been hitting with Scythe and uh, going for more mix-ups. But I say that, and that ground pound, that... That just, that stands for Pavelski's He, he actually, one hit, he one have hit. asked her better. I was actually just about to ask you, what was Machete doing in that first game that he needs to replicate to get himself back in the game here? And then that happened. So now as an answer back, what is, okay, never mind. Machete, I was gonna say, what does Machete need to do to keep that lead going? And so far he's doing it just by outspacing him with orb. Yeah, I'm loving this. And this is the second time today, um, at least in our block that we've really seen Players use the orb favorably against gauntlets. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to see a little bit of a, 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 a trend here in Europe, which I'm really enjoying to see. Now Machete over onto the scythe, using this as his primary weapon for knocking up Pavelski in this last stock. Pavelski, oh, three oh. hits. Misses out on the recovery at the end there, but gets himself back into an even game here. Machete looking for a punish, but he's going to get sent back off himself. Pavelski going deep for the Whoa. play and just misses. Machete goes to the sideline. And Ooh. Pavelski, after four, five, I don't know how many of those missed. He gets the side light, doesn't do the active input of the strong hit, so he gets the light hit, kicks him up, does the pivot neutral sig. He loves slide charge pivoting the neutral sig after those side lights. Nasia connect was so cool. Machete getting caught off guard there. In fact, I wonder if it was actually his dodge being guy. I don't think it was. Let's see here. Take a close look here. He's going to run, come back to it. Caught him on the dodge away, mm -hmm. and he delayed it just enough with the slide charge the keyword charge, yeah. right, to catch him at the end of that uh, that dodge. And it gets the knockout off the top, and now it's one-to-one. -one. That was a chef's kiss moment. Like, he's been setting up for that as the game has gone on. He's been kind of letting him get away with dodges in those same positions, capitalizing on it at the end to solidify that game and get himself back to one-to-one. -one. Oh, Pavelski going for Pavelski play, but this can lead to Pavelski's stock. But he gets hit by two dares, but Machete backing off, respectfully understanding, I got my two hits, let me get stage control. Yeah, Pavelski temporarily forgetting that these are not guitars. <laughs> <laughs> These are gauntlets, because that is something guitar players love to do off of a landing, is to do this chase dodge, chain dodge, where they go straight down and try to get the side air. That time, Pavelski nearly losing it, and Machete, in those moments where the craziness off stage doesn't work out for Pavelski, that's where I feel like Machete becomes the most relaxed, mm -hmm. and he gets the most damage, keeping Pavelski off the side of the stage where he wants to be so badly, and tacking on more and more of that damage to get a lead. Pavelski yeah. now fighting back, gets hit with a side light, and the side sig off the platform just barely doesn't knock Machete off the top. What line. a choice, too, because just prior to that, he missed two D lights by misspacing it by this much. Yeah. So I think that if Machete was kind of putting a spot in his head, he's like, well, I've outspaced those D lights twice, and then side sig oh. came in. And it caught him at the end. That is interesting, yeah, because we saw that in game one off the right side of the stage, and then in game two, uh, both down light, down lights just missing. But you're right, side sig will, if you are trying to be pixel perfect and how you space against that, side sig will catch you. Um, so Machete's got to worry about that now, too. Pavelski goes for the neutral light, doesn't get the nair afterwards, and Machete gets a little bit of extra damage on as that down light comes through. Side light, side air. All right, that's a great start coming up from Machete. And a strong hit side light. It's not going to be enough, but the weapon throw will catch Machete, being a little too.
too uh, easy going on his recovery. Yeah, there. exactly. Kind of relaxed at that spot. But I mean, he's had good reason to relax so far because if there's one thing Machete has been doing so well is his damage consistency. Mm -hmm. He barely drops anything. He Every time he gets an opening with Orb, he maximizes the damage like we're seeing right now, keeping it going. Keep it. He's been forcing the Ooh. jump resources and basically all the defensive options that Pavelski has, especially when uh, the platform's not in the center. He's been exhausting them so well on Pavelski so, uh, throughout the set. Yeah, Mammoth Fortress really well... Uh, uh, Aligning well with Machete's goal here, mm. which is just uh, doesn't really care how many hits it takes, right? Oh, nice job with the sidelight. Just gets the side right afterwards. Pavelski doesn't even dodge it. Um, he is he doesn't care how many hits it takes as long as he can have center stage, and Pavelski is spending the bulk of his time getting back onto it. Um, and, well, compared to Brawlhaven, Mammoth Fortress is massive. Yeah, yeah, and just the spacing has just been so good on, on Machete. It's actually getting to the point where Pavelski uh, is kind of reaching a little bit, but he finally catches him, at least that one Ooh. opener, and he gets him on the follow-up. That's not too much damage for Pavelski. Uh, the way that these two are playing, getting uh, getting this third game here matters so much. Yes, yes. They, they, no, neither player can really we could come to a decision of, like, okay, are you playing better today, or am I? It's like, no, no momentum's being tossed both as close plays. as possible yeah. right now. Now. Uh, and Pavelski right now is trying to prove a point there with those sidelights, making the game e uh, equal. Neutral light connects, goes in for a neutral sig, or oh. side sig rather, and he can't quite get it. Pavelski avoids that sidelight, goes for the dare, or the neutral air into another neutral air by Machete. Oh man, those falling airs. Oh that my almost god. Got him. That's not going to get him off the top just yet, but that is the opener Machete needs. Does not get the follow up hit. Trying to go for GCD what? light. He misses the neutral though. Sig. I wonder, I wonder if he slightly charged it. If he would have gotten a three burst, it would have worked. It doesn't matter, though. Pavelski now on the left side of the stage. He goes for the sliding neutral light. Can't I'm get it. Yeah, Machete still has an opportunity here to get back in on arm recovery. It's he's so not going to be enough. Is that it? Recovery? Oh, Jason oh, does Machete. not go for the recovery. He does pull the trigger. But Pavelski, oh, oh we're at recovery. the very end of the move. Oh, my God. You're like, the weapon toss down was so smart to try and prevent him from trying to go for the recovery punish. But the fact that Machete hadn't gone for that beforehand, holding on to it until the last second, his resources were gone, covering him for it, and Machete gets a very important game three here. Yes, 429 damage on the orb, uh, way more than he did with the scythe uh and that recovery at the end very end of the move but also highlighting that that was probably the third time that machete was literally like dancing in the air right mm -hmm. beneath pavelski without throwing out a single move and when he finally does it he hits it and he gets that stock because that was so close between both of them uh you can't, it, Ajax, it can't get close to them. I, it really can't. It's been so good, but Pavelski started things off solidly there with a four-piece kit and that damage on and let's just keep pushing him back. But Machete, as we've said multiple times throughout the set, yeah. he always answers right back, even with the damage deficit. He, like right now, he answers right back immediately, even though Pavelski was winning a bunch. Ooh, Pavelski, double side oh, air off the right side of the stage. That could be Machete's stock. Machete uses one recovery, assesses his options, and goes, I can't make it back. Fast falls down to stop the weapon start. Yeah, get right back into the midst of things. Like, you know what? I got caught. You caught me slipping. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and rebound. But oh. Pavelski's actually dodging around a lot more of these neutralized that have been hitting him consistently on his approach. That's a reversal side air, so he's going to be able to get stage. Oh, went for the ground pound on the dodge in there instead of the orb down air, uh, which I think was clever, just not really well spaced. Side air comes through here now. Machete gets the side light, kicks him away. Weapon throw forward, picks it up again. Is this the edge guard? Oh, the platform for Mammoth Fortress extending out for that dodge for Pavelski, giving him the recovery, and he's still holding on to this first stock. Literal pixels getting back on, but that's going to finally take it right there. Machete uh, not dropping the edge guard. That, no matter then, how many then, times, that was like three times Pavelski, and Pavelski just stock, snuck on. <laughs> Pavelski's stock ends, and Mammoth Fortress is like, okay, Sorry, <laughs> let's, let's off. It's look, like, we don't need to be here anymore. Bro, we tried, okay? <laughs> uh, I'll say is that Mammoth is definitely subscribed to, to the yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm to think that, yeah. <laughs> there comes through, Sidelight hits, nice job. Kicks him up, gets the cider right afterwards. Oh, Machete, no. Machete, come on, man, no. So Machete just giving a literal gift. It's spring, but it's looking like Christmas. Ah. And now Pavelski gets a huge lead. Doesn't drift into the wall, and that is a huge lead indeed. Pavelski with the gauntlets, trying to catch Machete in the air with the neutral air. Uh, at this low amount of damage, it's very easy for Pavelski to get some combos right afterwards. Down air comes down, doesn't hit. He gets the, 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 the pivot of the down air there was interesting. Uh, barely hits Machete, not too much damage. Now Machete is actually coming back pretty strong despite losing that second stock in the way that he did. If he, yeah. if he hits this here, I mean, it, it's potentially a 3-1 for Machete. 
Yeah, I mean, Machete's, you're right, he's barely been hit. Like, that stock might not have mattered at all, which is incredible because he had a Ooh. huge deficit on him. Weapon stuff continues, keeps control on arms, can at least set back him off. Back him off. Wawelski gets, finally getting another neutral light to send him away, and then he immediately tosses the weapon. Oh, does it make it back? Downers come through. Weapon throw down. Machete switches the scythe. Nice dodge. Wawelski trying to avoid the side light side air that Machete has been going for here, but the side light alone is enough to take down that stock. And now it's one to one. Machete takes this, and he knocks Pavelski out of the spring championship. Let's see what Pavelski can do. Opening up that neutral light. It's looking good so far, Ajax. Haymaker hits. Pavelski is trying to bring it to a game five. One solid signature on the scythe here could do it. Look, Pavelski believers are still in chat waiting to oh, see he... this happen. He go went for the play that closed him out that game in the last time, but he goes deep off stage. Whoa. Oh, Machete doesn't touch the wall again, and we get to get a game number five scared, out of that. Scared, scared straight out of the game there. That was the second time that we saw Machete just not be able to touch the wall. He steered that orb recovery so hard to the right that it went like horizontally. Like that, I didn't even think about uh, how possible that was. Yeah, Cider comes through here. We're going to see that edge guard. Machete. Yeah, he just literally never touched the wall. He that thought it looked like he did, but he didn't. That's three times today, man. You got the two of them in this one set one time earlier today that helped get him down to, to this position. He's got to focus on making sure he gets back to the stage like that. Otherwise, you get put into a spot where you got to deal with Mordex on Demon Island for game number five. Oh, yeah. Pavelski, really looking forward to this because offstage is where he shines. And Machete, as we saw offstage, is not quite so much where he shines. Right? That was a, that was a brutal game four mm -hmm. coming out from what could have potentially been a 3 1 and now Pavelski has the damage lead going to game five, but Machete with the double neutral light Nair gets a ton of damage on Pavelski. Look oh at that, so goodness. good at reading those fast falls from Pavelski out of hit stun. Yeah, P Machete is answering once again, rack, uh, but this time off of all of these reads, like you said, the dodges and Pavelski is kind of getting to his head a little bit. Ooh, Pavelski dodges the side of the stage, but Machete gets that weapon as it spawns in. Recovery gets Machete with a low amount of jumps. He has to dodge back Ooh. to the stage. He can't make it back. There's no stage on Demon Island to touch. Pavelski gets the ground pound, and Machete went a little too far out there with yeah. his jumps. Yeah, like Machete going for the pressure, but it was a little bit overcommittal, and that time Pavelski closing it out himself. Pavelski, however, is definitely on borrowed time as we see that time come to a close. So Machete not, doesn't let that get too far away. Now Machete with the weapon throw up, keeping Pavelski uh, starved until the gauntlets come through. And now Scythe versus gauntlets. Pavelski goes in for a side light, gets immediately stopped by a neutral light. Machete takes him off into the sky. Pavelski tries to reverse it. And man, Machete, neutral light, neutral light. He's hit so many of those against Pavelski. Now he's gotten a lot of the double neutral lights. He's getting a lot oh, of he, hey, he gets it again. He's, he so keeps, good at it. he's winning in center. But the biggest thing is, is every time he goes off stage, he's using a lot of resources. He's really taking he's... advantage of the fact that Pavelski wants to go back in. <laughs> okay, yeah. at this point, I feel like Pavelski's just like, look, you got Pave <laughs> Pavelski's gonna, and, and this is, okay, neutral light, neutral light is not true. No. <laughs> it's not a true combo. I don't care how much shit they hit him four times in a row, but he's definitely just preying on the fact that Pavelski wants to get right back into the, fr the fray, uh, and he's succeeding because of it. Yeah, it's all, like, at this point, like, if somebody's gonna keep, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Like, if, if somebody keeps doing it, Take advantage of it every yeah. time. That's why he has this big lead right now. And he gets the read, oh, gets him on the stock, looking huge. like he could take this game. But Pavelski's answered back every time, Taza. I'm curious to see how he gets this answer to potentially push this to a last stop. Yeah, weapon did not get started away by Machete that time, but that double neutral light hits him again. And Machete, oh, ladder combos him all the way to the top. So much damage coming through here. Pavelski just jump or dodge away with the neutral light hits. He gets, he almost got hit by it again. Machete just mispositioned, but he definitely dodged down. Mm, yeah. And Machete just stood still and Double neutral light, and that would have been it. Well, all that matters is that even if it didn't work nine times, the one that worked is the one that matters the most. Yeah. Pavelski for the weapon toss down. Machete just getting by. Sweat beats up. Doesn't matter, though. He gets back on stage. He's going to go for the weapon and tries to get him on his way back in. And Machete touches the ground safely. Weapon throw forward. Pavelski trying to get this down to a one stock scenario on both sides, but Machete just won't go down. Weapon throw forward. Tries to get the pivot near. Side light, side or no. Oh, that oh, time it hits. Oh, Dodge, and he gets the stock. Dodge not back in time. Pavelski gets it. There's a chance. Ajax. There's a chance indeed, Taza. Last stock of piece here. Game number five. Trying to see who gets knocked out of Spring Championship once we on. The Nair comes through. Tries to get a follow up on the side air, but Machete does not give it to him. Oh, Machete goes up for the Nair on the orb. A clash. Side light comes through with the Nair. Dodged away. Side air has Pavelski off the side of the stage. Machete doesn't go for the orb down there, letting Pavelski back into the stage, waiting for the exclamation points to come out. Machete doesn't get the there. Pavelski oh, avoiding everything. Side air hits. He oh. tries to go for a deep what? side air. 
Got, Recovering okay. that off the top. One more recovery, and that's it. Side light Nair does not hit. Weapon throw down. Pabelski gets the pummel. Weapon, weapon toss throw. over. He can't. Tazis is pushing him oh, back. Machete. Machete is starting to swing a bit, but the weapon ah, toss comes out. He dodges right. back. The Pabelski, oh, that's crazy. He just gave him stage. He just gave him stage. Now Machete has an opportunity. Machete's not uh, guarding the weapon, though. He's just trying to keep Pabelski at the left side of the stage. That's not his play style. Side light <gasps> comes through. Machete gets the Nair. Puts it back to the right side of the stage. Now he switches over to the orb. Doesn't get the neutral light. And anything else with Pabelski gets a weapon Pavelski spot. Pabelski gets the Machete gets the side That's it. Machete wins game five in that last dock scenario after what was the craziest scrap between these two players I've ever seen. Ajax, I told you I love seeing these two go head to head. This is why. I, I am always entertained by a Pavelski set, but I was absolutely entertained by this. Play, this was placing oh. for seventh, seventh place. And this is the type of energy we saw out of them. Both of them trying I mean, to not get knocked out. Machete answering right back. The weapon toss at the end trying to get himself back to the gauntlets because that was what was getting things going for yeah. him. But it was one of those spots where you had to rely, hopefully, on still staying good on defense. And Machete finally capitalized on I it. I mean, that game got so crazy that both players broke away from their preferred play style. <laughs>